Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Looking a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 61, NASDAQ flat, S&P's uh, up one and a half. Gold, gold contract down $9.50 trading at 2385 an ounce. We have silver up 17 cents, $29.90 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 73 cents, $79.36 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up seven ticks, trading out at 109.15. The 30 year up five, uh, uh, 10 year down seven ticks, 109.15. 30 year down five ticks, 117.29 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 129 ticks, 104.474. Euro 108. Yen 155, British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. So, first, let's bring up the futures. Well, yeah, first, I'm just going to bring up the spy because after you get a big day like yesterday, folks, okay, you know, you're going to have a consolidation, you're going to have a timeout. That's the real bottom line. And that's what we have happening here. So, you know, we'll see how this shakes out coming into the close. And so for that, we're going to go into the E-mini. And we take a look at the E-mini out here. So you've had a flat market all day long, you know, relatively flat, that's for sure. You've had a high of uh, 53.49, low of 53.23. And if we bring this back, what you're going to see, and we're going to be able to tell right now, which is going to be kind of cool, because this is the bar... The bar that we're on right now, folks, is going to be hard to get through because it's going into the bar from 20 past 1 this afternoon. Now, that bar had 63,000 contracts. So what happens on something like that, whoever the sellers there, they're going to be basically selling again. So we'll see how this shakes out. The bar right before this, we only had uh, 13,000. And right now, we are into this bar. Oh, here we go. It's not even close, man. Okay. They fin finished above it, but you only did 14,000 contracts. So that's telling me, more than likely, your probability is that you're going to be anywhere from... It's not a lot, man. It's like we're up a point and a half. We're either going to be down three points or seven points in the S&P. That's, that's how, kind of how this shakes out. So you know, the seven points is at the, the test of the, the lower bar from quarter past two, and the three points is the high of the lower bar. Now let's go over to the Qs, NQs rather. So we take a look at the NQs, do the same type of exercise, and it's going to be the same deal. Yeah, so in the NQs, that bar is even bigger. The NQs did 27,000 contracts. We just did seven. So what's open on the NQs Oh, this is interesting. The NQs, are they going to gonna hit the, the we're going to know in, in like a minute because the NQs are right next to the highs. We're two points away from it right now. So 689, 18,689 is the number. That's, that's the high of the high volume low bar. And then the low, of course, well, the low is 661, which is 30 points below that. But if it digs into it, bottom line, that's where you can expect it to go. We go to the gold coin. Now, that's on a short-term basis, folks, okay? This market still wants higher price. That's the bottom line. So we take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here. 178,000 contracts. Not bad. We got to 2402. Right now, you're at 2385. So that still wants higher price. Notes and bonds, they're pulling back with light volume. They had a big day yesterday. This note and bond market... We got to uh, 1.5 million contracts. You almost made 110. So you're 15 ticks off the high on the 10. That's 15 ticks is a lot, man, <laughs> in the note and bond market. That being said, we went up yesterday. We just missed an ABC up, I believe. It's, it's a close call, man. Have, let me see this again. 
2.7 versus 2.8, I think, yeah. 2.7 million contracts were done yesterday versus 2.8. That being said, when you take a look at this 10-year, my take is that, and this broke with conviction, the 10 years on its way to 112.04. That's, that's the next layer inside of the, it, it's a decisive break. You got wide price spread, accelerated volume. We did it again yesterday. We'll build some more cars. That's where this baby wants to go. We're going to take a look at the, uh, yeah, this is the one right here. The dollar, you want to really wrap your head around where the, the ranges are on the dollar because the dollar came in to the lower range yesterday with conviction, meaning you busted into the lower range, which is something that the dollar has been holding really well. I mean, the dollar, you know, busted into the lower range for all of 10 minutes on May 3rd, jumped right above it again, and it again, and it looks at this particular point that really is not holding price. But if that baby jumps on the, on the <laughs> a higher range again, then, then things change in the market. Right now, that dollar... My take is that, let's, let's do this. Watch this. This is kind of cool. Okay, so look at that where we are. Whoa, baby. If, you wanted, if you're watching Tiger TV, look at this, man. This came right down to the trend line today, the long-term trend line that I'm taking off uh, 100.618. Not, it's not a Fibonacci. It's, it's actually 100.617. Uh, but you can see this trend line held today. We'll see where that shakes out, man. All right, my take is that we're going to lower price, but we will see how that shakes out. We take a look at some, oh, no, no, let's go to the silver market, because silver, what's happening with silver, man? Silver is really starting to get some juice behind it, man. It wants to bust this thing, so you got 86,000 contracts out here today. We are trading 29.90. It was month, okay, so watch this. SLV. I'm going to go to the SLV because what's happening is that you're, you're coming into the swing, and, and this is a major swing, and you're coming in with big volume. Oh, I see, but the SLV didn't have it. I don't know. Futures had it. SLV didn't have it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.